Hello, thank you very much. Welcome to our Canny Cross Trail Runners display. Um, it's great to be able to demonstrate the sport in this arena. We're just going to get some of our guys coming on in. Um, first of all, we're just going to set some dogs up in the middle who are going to be receiving a warm up, and we can explain all about that in a moment. Um, Canny Cross is the sport of cross country running with your dog, and it's really, really hard to demonstrate this in an arena like this. We're normally swerving around trees, wallowing through mud, and realizing we're going downhill too quickly with trainers with no grip on. So it's really hard to be able to show us what a proper sport like this is. So we'll give it a go though, and we'll try and show everyone how exciting this can actually be. So we're going to get the guys coming in to walk around the arena, and we're just going to let them have a little walk around to get used to it. As you can see, every shape, size, and breed of dog can take part in this sport. Um, everyone running here is representing a different club um, from all over the countries, and there are new clubs starting all the time. Um, if you ever wanted to give it a go, then there's always people to get in touch with. We've got a very active Facebook page where you can find out about your local clubs, and I'm sure there might actually be a club close by where you can ask for some advice. Our candy crosses are just walking around now. They're just giving warm up. They're just trying to get the dogs used to the arena, used to the surface, and used to this atmosphere. These dogs are used to running around woods and forests and nice muddy paths. They're not used to being in this kind of environment. These are our running partners and our pet dogs. So it's all very, very new to them, and I think they're doing brilliantly. In the center here, we've got some Gala myotherapists. They're busy warming up our dogs for us here. They are using canine massage techniques to warm up the main muscle groups of the dogs. And this is really getting them ready, not only physically, but also mentally ready for the competition ahead. Um, I've got some volunteers here, which are going to demonstrate the equipment we use as well. So uh, when we're running with Canny Cross, the most important piece of equipment you need is a well-fitted and well-padded harness. We're asking the dogs to pull out in front of us, so they need to be able to feel really comfortable doing that. So we've got different types of harnesses here. Attached to them is then we've got a, a line with some bungee in it. So that absorbs any shock between the runner and it protects the dogs as well. And then our runners are wearing waist belts. These fit quite low against the hip, so the strain actually comes around the hips rather than the lower back, which is essential when your dog suddenly sees Sid the squirrel and does a quick four minute mile pace downhill, so you can actually be able to chance to stop in time. So, on the way round as well, you'll hopefully hear some of our runners use some directional commands. We need to tell the dogs whether they're going left or right. You either use left or right, if that's easy. Some of us use some uh, words which we borrow from the mushy world, which is G and Haw. Uh, hopefully we'll also hear people going on by, which is on past distractions. And we'll also be using them, if they're overtaking, use the word trail or runner behind, so you can warn people that you're actually behind them. Right, okay, I think our dogs are hopefully nice and warmed up now. They've got used to the arena. So I think it's probably time to start getting them outside and then we are going to start our race. So if the guys are just going to finish off here and they're just going to start queuing outside. As you can see, all of our runners today are wearing numbers. Uh, when we race, we have race numbers on the same as with the human races. This is so that we can actually give them an accurate time when they do it and the numbers on there today will be the running order that they're actually going to be using. So we're going to get these guys ready. So thank you, Will from Foxy. You were brilliant. And then hopefully our dogs are nice and warm here. So we're going to pop them outside and we're going to get their harnesses on, ready to get running. Well done, guys. You nice and warm? You ready to go? You nice and warm, ready to go? Thank you very much indeed to our garden therapist. Uh, they'll be seeing these dogs later for a cool down as well. So thank you very much indeed. Fabulous. Well done, guys. If you join in there, <gasps> ready to go, ready to race. Right. It's going to start getting very noisy now. 
because the dogs are actually going to realize that it is now starting to be race time. We're going to start the dogs off at 20 second intervals, which is going to give me hopefully a bit of chance to introduce all of the wonderful people we've got here. They've traveled from all over the country to be here. We've got uh, marshals from all over. We've got Briar, who's in the corner here from the Forest of Dean, who is a legend in the run lead. It's not a run unless he at least knee deep in mud. And we've got Karen O'Connor over here as well, who's traveled all the way from Canicross Island to help us marshal as well. And we've got Anne on this corner here from Sussex. So thank you very much indeed to all of our marshals. We've got our first runner is going to be up. We're going to be doing at 20 second intervals. Here we've got Tracy, uh, sorry, we've got Karen Connolly, who's ready to get started. Um, she's going to get a countdown from the start, Marshall. Um, Karen has been, uh, this is with Ash, and they started to make sure that they could start getting fitter together. So we're going to give up three, two, one, and off we go. It's quite difficult because Ash is trying to find the trail. Well done. Next up, we've got Tracy Douglas, who is running for Barking Mad Canny Crosses with Buster. Buster was in the middle here getting a warm up, and he is more than ready to go. Uh, Tracy started struggling to even do 10K, and she finished a half marathon with Buster. So, congratulations on their fitness together. Next up, we've got Stephen and Bailey. He's been Canny Crossing for three years. He's here with Brighton and Hope Canny Cross. Bailey, we cannot wear Bailey out. After running 28 miles, he ran off with Stephen's trainers to just give him an extra bit of a cool down because he thought he hadn't actually run far enough. Next up, we've got Carl Panther with his rather gorgeous husky, Kobe. Uh, Carl got Kobe to help him get over the suffering he suffered a broken back. And his proudest moment is the fact he's actually started for he found a member of Canny Cross Manchester. So well done, Carl and Kobe. Come on, Kobe, ready? Go, 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 go! Yay! Good boy! Next up, we've got Paul Chandler, who's running for uh, Canny Cross Midlands. He's running with Dill, who's a large one Stalanta, who's nearly two years old. Paul started running dogs at a rescue centre, and as soon as he got his own dog, he started Canny Crossing. And Dill is off and running. Fantastic. Next, we've got Natalie Saunders here, and she's running with her dog, Star. Very gorgeous Sammy here. I bet he doesn't come back that colour after a run. Um, now, Star runs faster when the, when the crowd gets louder. So shall we give it a go? Go on, Star! Yay! <laughs> well done. Oh, second a lap of honour. Next up, we've got Jo Jones with Murphy, her three-year-old Gordon Collie. Um, and they've been canny crossing for three years. Now, Jo used to hate running, but as soon as she started running with her border collie, absolutely loves it. They're running for Sussex and um, 30 years of rescue for Ireland. And he rather likes mud. Well done, Jo, brilliant. We've got Jenny here with her Rotty Bunny. And she's from, uh, Bunny is from, uh, from Belgium. And she's running for Sussex. Go on, Bunny. Bunny also does agility in lots of other sports as well. We've got Helen Bisley here with Alice, who is actually Anne's dog. So Alice is a very experienced Candy Cross dog. She came to Cross last year mainly for the shopping experience and had a few treats. And she enjoyed every second of it. Go on, Helen, well done. Helen took part in the Trophy des Montagne in France last summer and did really well. We've got Jo Wormold here with her rather beautiful Ibethan hound. Uh, she's been canny crossing for two years. Uh, Dan has a very high prey drive because of his breed. So exercising in my canny crossing is absolutely brilliant. So he needs to get a really nice run. But he's nice and safe on the lead. What a beautiful movement. Gorgeous, Dan. He wants to just let go. Next up, we've got uh, Ellie Macchio, who's running with Ruby. Again, Ruby is a rescue dog, and she's been rescued from Cyprus. And Ruby's going through the cones. No, she's going round. Well done, Ruby. Fantastic. Next up, we've got Chris Hawkins with Maya, seven-year-old Labrador. Chris is from the Forest of Dean, whose main um, idea is why pay for expensive mud packs when you can spend most Sundays face down in the mud with Maya. Well done, guys. Oh, good girl, Maya. We've got Sarah Miles Griffiths, and she took up Canny Cross. She was getting worried about getting old and getting unfit. And 
she lauded her Kelly Cross line kit, went out the next day, took part in the race, and lo and behold, they came third. So fantastic. And this proves that any dog loves running in harness. Uh, here we've got Kate Huggins, who we kindly has come along. She's been on Discover Stands all day with her beautiful Japanese um, Akita, uh, Kiko. So Kiko also does lots of uh, beatings as well. And as I say, she's been on, which is probably why she's running to you at the moment. Thank you, Kate. Well done. Next up, we've got Nicole Sheehan with Ice, um, who uh, got started canny crossing after her mum, mum bucked her to give it a go, and she soon became hooked. As you can see, Ice is an absolute natural pulling out in front there. Well done, really nice. Now, this is Elizabeth Dennett, who's come all the way from Merseyside to take part in this demonstration with a rather gorgeous Westie. You don't see many Westies in this sport, but you can see he absolutely loves it. And thank you for coming all the way down to Merseyside to show off. Absolutely brilliant and loving it. We've got Nikki Randalls here, who is from Kent Canning Cross, and is running with Phoenix, who is, usually comes to work with her as she works in a vet. And she just says, I just wish I'd discovered Canning Cross sooner. Oh, he's fantastic. Now, how about the unusual breeds? Here we've got Denise Pecky with Roxy, her 18-month-old Sharpay. Again, really keen to get going. Only recently started, but Roxy is an absolute natural and loves running. So hard in this arena to show what it's actually like. Here we've got a British Monkey with uh, Khaleesi, her German Shepherd, a five-year-old German Shepherd is very, very keen to get going. Avita said she feels really wrong running without her dog. She's her pacemaker, her inspiration, and her teammate. And as you can see, they are quick. Next up, we've got Victoria Mills with Willow, her two and a half year old Whippets, and she's running for South Downs and Coastal Canicrossers. They've been to several events now, but the proudest moment was taking part in a race called the Brutal Ten with Willow in December, where Willow swam for the first time. Oh, Willow, good little girl. Now we've got Jenny Kenyon, who is up with Jessie, her miniature schnauzer, who's eight years old. She's also from South Downs and Coastal Paddy Crossers. Well done, and she's even wearing all the kit as well. She actually did the, um, Jenny's actually run with all three of her schnauzers at one of the races, which is very impressive. We've got Adele Steele up next with Bella, who's her three-year-old uh, long-haired Barmarama, running for Kenny Cross Cambridge. Bella is, uh, we've got to wish also Bella's brother good luck as he's actually over from the Netherlands and he's been shown today at Cross. So good luck to Bella's brother in his class. Next up we've got Lisa Osborne who is running with Rubber from Canny Cross Conchester. Really natural runner. She qualified. Well done. Beautiful. Thank you guys for coming all the way here. Next up we've got Jenny Brown with Tigger and 
and Jody. She's doing two dog people run. She's been Kelly crossing for several years. And watch these beagles go. Tig is also a very special dog. He tracks missing dogs. So not only is it amazing Kelly cross, but they actually find missing dogs too. I'm glad it's Jenny that's trying to keep up with those with those legs. Right, well done. Now, ready. We're going to continue the race now. So we're going to get everybody coming back round. So, heading off again. Here we go. We have got Karen heading off. Well done with Buster. Come on, Bailey. Here we've got Carl coming round. So this is more like a race. We've got the dogs who are trying to chase rounds in front. Well done. A little bit of it taking, taking place. Well done, Sarah. She's going past. Go on, Sarah. You can do it. She. Nice overtaking. Well done. We've got several rules we can across. The dogs must always stay in front of you. They must never be behind. They must never be dragged. And as you can hear, there's lots of uh, commands going on here. Lots of overtaking. Go on, Lisa, with rubber. Well done. Oh, you're cheating. You're out short cutting. Come on, Buster, baby. Well done. Keep going. It's a really unnatural environment for the dogs in here, but they're doing fantastic. And remember, we're normally running through forests and woods and nice open environments. And these dogs just aren't used to being here, so well done. Well done, Roxy. Gleesy, go on. Go on, Chester. Chester really does think he's in a race. Okay, you can hear all the commands going. Here comes Jenny with the beagles behind you. Now then, we've got a very special part of our, um, our, our, our Kelly Cross now. We've got our juniors coming in. So first up here, we've got Rowan Saxon, who is the European Junior Kelly Cross Champion of 2015. He's running with Munster, who is their rehome pointer. He has won his category at the Trophy des Montagnes, which is a 10-day race in the French Alps in France, uh, and he's won it four years running. Very, very talented runner. Um, very proud of all the achievements that Rowan's made. Well done. Next up, we have got Felix, who's running with Wilf. This is Felix Smith. He's been Cali crossing since eight years old. And again, he took part in his third trophy to Montana this summer. Well done, Wilf. Wilf is a rescue husky, so you can see how brilliant teamwork they have there. And now we have got uh, Taylor Lyon, she's running with her own dog, Elliot. So she's known Elliot since he was three weeks old and she, Taylor looks after him and trains him all on her own. This is her dog. Taylor again is a really talented little runner, so well done Taylor, beautiful. Next up we've got Elsie Instone, who's only six. She's running with Tinkerbell. This again is her very own dog and this is their first season together. They ran their first ever 5K last year in 28 minutes, which is pretty impressive, and raised 600 pounds for cancer charity. So well done, Elsie. We've got Rowan is on his second lap. We've got Felix is on his second lap with Wilf, who's loving it. Well done, Taylor. Keep going. Fantastic. Go on, Taylor. Well done, Elliot. These two make a super team. Taylor likes making sure that all of our adult runners that go with her go through any water crossings that might be in the way. And our juniors are just going to start. Well done, Elsie. Go on. Just on their second lap. Go on. Good little girl. Well done. Tinkerbell's doing so well. She's such a young dog as well. So this is all completely new to her. Well done. Huge round of applause. Just going to come all the way around. Now the guys are all wearing their t-shirts so you can 
see which clubs they've all come from, which gives you an idea of all the clubs across the country. If you are interested in ever having a go at the sport, there's lots of local clubs. As I say, we've got a very active Facebook page, Canning Cross Trail Runners. You can come on, ask for your local clubs. We've all got plenty of kit and equipment you can try out. See what suits your dog, give it a go, and see if you'll enjoy it. Lots of clubs also run uh, walking events as well, so that you can actually just do a hand across walk, get your dogs used to it, especially if they're young, recovering from an injury or anything like that. And we're just going to spread out across the arena. So if you just want to hold it there, brilliant. We're going to get all the dogs back in. Well done. The dogs are wondering what all the fuss is about. They're going for only about a few minutes. Here's my normal 5k. Thank you very much, guys. 